Okay, if we go to our home page now, we can see it looks pretty empty. All it has is that one slider which we created in the beginning and the text of our home page. So let us lay this out uh, more beautifully. So how do you do that is you go back to your dashboard, go to appearance and theme options. And you go to home layout. And once you're there, uh, you go to home page layout manager and this helps you organize how you want the layout to appear on the home page. So right now we have the page title and the content enabled and of course the slider is default. So as you can see you have your slider and the page title and the content enabled. How about we enable these things as well. So how do you enable this? How do you get your latest blog posts and your portfolio carousal on the home page. You just drag from disabled to enabled. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this here. And I'm going to put an icon menu as well. And I think I'm going to remove the page title and content because I think the page looks better with just an icon menu, a portfolio carousal, and your latest blog posts. So let us save changes first and see what this looks like. So once you've laid out your home page menu, you just refresh the page to see what it looks like. Okay, you have your slider, your icons, and hey, you have, we have our portfolio carousal, which we added and all of this links to your portfolio and hey we have a blog posts okay now there's one thing the how come there is an image here but there's no image on your family day ski trip because we forgot to set a featured image for this blog post let us quickly do that right now so let us go over to this blog post and if you're logged in to your wordpress you just click on edit post at the top and uh, you scroll down till you reach a section on featured image and you set a featured image and let us choose it from a library let us uh, let us choose this as our featured image okay let us click on update and once we are done with that once the page is updated let us refresh the home page to see what our blog post and there you go and now we have an image here for our family day ski trip blog post okay now next thing is this icon menu this this looks pretty odd here so let us add icons so basically icons are widgets which are going to which which just which is just like a short form for services a widget which you place on your website which can link to some other page enough talking let us see what it looks like so how do I add these widgets or icons as it's called it's called an icon menu so you go to dashboard appearance theme options and home layout once you're on the home layout you scroll down and you go to the home icon menu and you click on add icon so you just click this plus and you select an icon so for manufacturing uh, I'm just going to choose this for now. You can select any icon and there are a lot of icons here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to give it a short description. Our manufacturing unit. And I'm going to link it to our manufacturing page. So first things first let us uh, let me go to the section on pages how do i do that is i just go to pages go to all pages and i am going to copy the link for manufacturing so which is under view so i'm just going to right click this and say copy link address alternatively i can open the page and copy this so but for now i'm just going to do that and I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to add a new icon 
for packaging. Um, packaging this business. I'm going to select Nikon for it. Uh, just going to it's going to be a random icon. I'm going to choose the link to the packaging page. I'm going to add another icon for distribution. Capability. I'm going to add the distribution page uh, link. Okay. And I am going to save changes. And let us see what our page looks like. Okay. So let us see what our website looks like after adding these three icons. Hey, there you go. This is what it looks like. So as you mouse over, it changes into a different color. So it's the title and your description and your icon. I think it looks pretty cool. So if hey, so the I think we forgot to put the icon here on the distribution. So let's go there. Let's go back to our theme options and uh, go to the home icon menu. Click on distribution. Select an icon for it. Uh, let's just do something random for now. And click on save changes. And once we are done saving changes, let's refresh the page to make sure that the icon has appeared on the distribution. And has it? Yes, it has. So our home page is taking good shape now. And uh, as you can, we have a slider, we have a section. Let's click on each of these to see where it leads to make sure it leads to the pages. So let's open this in a new tab. Okay, so, and there you go. You have now linked your home page to each of your uh, sub pages which you have created earlier. All right, so I think our home page is looking pretty good. And the more the content you add on your own, the more stuff will appear on your home page. And you can all configure it under your theme options and home layout. Uh, you can choose the number of blog posts you want to show on the home page and the number of portfolio items you want to show on the home page and you can choose the order etc etc so there's a lot of things you can uh, customize and configure so let us move on to the next section which is to create a contact us page okay now our contact us page will have a inquiry form and will contain our contact information and will contain a Google map that shows where our address is.